Today's horoscope and tarot reading from Astro Academy, Virgo February 22, 2022. If you've got something you're trying to study, this is not the day to do it. Your concentration is likely to be off, and what you're reading will probably look like Greek to you. Unless there's no other way, it's best to put the books aside until tomorrow, as you probably won't absorb much today, however, trying to read could give rise to the illusion that you've learned something. Be on the safe side, put it off. You could be busy with family today. You might not have much time to yourself, because there could be so many visits back and forth. Surrender to the energy of the day. Try to focus on your loved ones and help them out if you can. Your parents might need you to help them with something in their home. A sibling might ask you to babysit their kids. You'd enjoy spending time with your nieces or nephews. Extra time and attention which you have been devoting to your career should be paying off about now. You've worked hard to be where you are, and you aren't through climbing the ladder to success just yet. You aren't likely to rest on your laurels, today you might spend a lot of time plotting your next goal and planning your next move. A little ingenuity will definitely pay off here. Use whatever advantages you have. New scientific or archaeological discoveries could temporarily shake your faith in your spiritual path. Something that you've always accepted may suddenly seem doubtful. This could propel you on to studies of your own, primarily to reaffirm your faith, but you're more likely to find that whatever discoveries come don't actually invalidate your ideas, but in a strange and unusual way actually confirm them. Write down your ideas. This will enable you to put everything in its proper perspective. Relations with your circle of friends will strengthen. Opposing points of view can be easily reconciled and you are able to create an open, tolerant atmosphere. The mutual trust you share will increase and other people feel at ease with you. Perhaps someone will reveal intimate details to you that make your ties to him or her even more intensive. You can get a lot done today but only if you're directing your energy outward and helping folks who are in need. The more you do for others, the more energy comes back at you later on. Strengthen existing relationships by proposing new venues and occasions to meet. If there is someone you want to give a more important role in your life, let them know or give them a sign. If the object of your desire doesn't react to your gentle attempts do not change your strategy, be patient, bide your time. Your mood is likely to turn towards getting things underway. At the same time, this may mean that you need to get certain things out of your way, including people. Don't be afraid to take action as necessary in order to get your point across because deeds will speak louder than words. For example, if you feel like time is passing. Feeling a little sick of working? If so, this day should see you out and about for some adventure and fun. Even if there's work on your agenda, with your creative talents, you should be able to think of some way to bring a greater social atmosphere to your day. There are always break times and after hours to consider making plans for. Even if you merely lighten up the load today, you're certain to feel far better all around. Take care of yourself by ensuring there is balance in your life between work and play. When's the last time you used a pen and paper? In this day and age of computers, the keyboard has all but replaced these wonderful tools. In the same way that walking provides much more than fresh air, the kinesthetic value of the rhythmic motion that occurs in writing with a pen is far more soothing and even healing than most realize. Moving your hand across the page can feel good and unlock places within you that aren't always accessed by typing. Try some of this today. Two days after the sun left your career sector, taking the solar spotlight off your career situation matters but with things still evolving, the moon is wrapping up its second visit to your work sector for the year. A lot of water has passed under the bridge since the moon was here four weeks ago but with Venus and Mars yet to return there is still a lot more to pass under before all your options are revealed. What the moon does today is leave you with an intuitive read on the dynamics across the income, work and career fronts, making it important to trust your gut. Just two days after the sun's return to your friendship sector, the moon returns for its second visit to your relationship sector for the year. 
This is something that over the coming days will not only create positive conditions for friendship and relationship building but will bring a chance to become more emotionally engaged and connected. Your tarot reading for today. The Hermit, the Chariot and Justice. You are at risk of doing something hasty out of impatience and rage. This is not a time for irrational and impulsive behavior don't be cantankerous, if closer to old than young, or arrogant and resentful, if closer to young than old. Try and remain calm and let the rage go. Take time to make a cool and collected decision. The hermit signals a warning not to make hasty decisions. Drive, 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 that's what's going for you. You certainly aren't a quitter. The appearance of the chariot tells of conflicts ending in victory, so don't give up. Battle on and you will succeed. This is a time of movement and change. Expect a journey relating to work, and if you've had your eye on that car, it will soon be yours. Justice will be done. Decisions will go in your favor, particularly regarding partnerships or legal matters. Now is the time for some good luck and reward for your good deeds in the past. Our eyes in the sky. The gentleness of today makes us feel more tender, generous, and able to take on the world. The only negative is that our emotions will come from an egotistical place. It might be hard to put other people's feelings ahead of ours because we're all focused on how we feel rather than how everyone else is feeling. We could be unwilling to show our emotional cards and put them on display. However, being open to discussing our feelings can lead to a deeper, longer-lasting connection with those we care about. This could create an over-the-top sentimental frenzy that brings to the forefront emotions that have been buried beneath the surface in our hearts. Something to watch out for is a lack of boundaries between us and others, which might cause some drama before bedtime. Instead of pushing to get your way, take a step back and focus on the positive in your life. The good side to this transit is that it encourages us to make a conscious effort to embrace a spiritual attitude after an emotional meltdown. Our relaxed and easygoing mental state favors curiosity, conversation, and generally following our bliss. If you have the opportunity, wake up lazily and see where the morning leads. Whether we wind up playing with friends, working away at a passion project, or lounging with a love interest, this transit unleashes the inner child who we typically keep subdued to manage adult concerns. Following this transit, the moon enters a void lasting until after dark, suggesting we spend this time embracing joy, instead of trying to do something productive with its influence. In the early afternoon, the moon creates a confusing in conjunct, because our mood under the Leo mood is an easygoing, joyful one, we might subtly anticipate that current events should be more taxing or difficult. The inconjunct makes us believe the specter of bad news is lurking just out of sight, about to arrive with a reminder of anxieties, and causing us to feel guilty for taking the time to simply enjoy ourselves. This transit can provoke strong emotions which don't have a proper outlet, so avoid letting irritability guide your choices.